And in our health report, we return to New York and the Millennium Development Goals Summit. VOA's Margaret Bashir examines the progress on goal number six, combating HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases such as tuberculosis, measles, and polio. Each day, more than 7,400 people worldwide are infected with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Globally, 33 million people are living with the virus, two-thirds of them in sub-Saharan Africa. But Michelle Sidibe, the head of UN AIDS, says there has been significant progress in the fight against this epidemic. For the first time, uh, we have a reduction in the new infection by 25 percent in the 22 most affected and infected countries in Africa. That is important because it's not just reducing the number of new infections, it will reduce the cost of treatment because the queue for treatment will be reduced. Some of the countries with the largest epidemics, including South Africa, Zimbabwe and Nigeria, are leading the drop in infection rates. The UN AIDS chief says it shows that prevention is working across all levels of society. Michelle Kazachkin, the executive director of the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, says continued progress will take substantial financial commitments from the international community. It will take resources, um, and that's a very difficult issue uh, these days, given the crisis, given the budget constraints for donors. Mm -hmm. From a Global Fund perspective, we, we have talked to the donors and we have said that for the next three years we, we would need somewhere between 13 and 20 billion for the three years in dollars. Kazach Keen acknowledges this is a lot of money in a time of austerity, but he says it is an investment that will save millions of lives. In many cases, the various Millennium Development Goals are interconnected. For example, progress in fighting malaria, which kills one child somewhere in the world every 45 seconds, can also lead to progress toward goal number four, reducing child mortality. There is a similar connection between combating HIV AIDS and improving maternal mortality, which is goal number five. Michelle Kazachkin explains. When it comes to AIDS, you can't really separate AIDS from sexual and reproductive health or maternal uh, mortality. Over 50% of deaths in women between the age of 15 and 49 in Africa are from AIDS. Both Kazachkin and Sidibe believe it will be possible to come close to the disease reduction targets for goal number six, if not reach them, on schedule. But they say certain obstacles need to be overcome. They say predictable long-term financing must be secured, affordable drugs must be obtained, national health systems must be improved, and discrimination against people living with such diseases as HIV-AIDS must be eliminated. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, the United Nations.